You gotta pick the girl trainers. That's what all the good streamers do. Trust me, it will all make sense once we read the dialogue. God damn it, why can't we just skip this useless dialogue? Leon and Raihan are respecting each other and their social distancing during their exhibition match. If you read the title of this video, you'll know that I'm doing what is called a Nuzlocke. If you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, basically, you can only catch one Pokemon on every route, and if a Pokemon faints, it f***ing dies. The rules of the road are don't get attached to anyone, because it'll die. Oh, you brought along Dad. <laughs> Hello, dear. Yeah, he, he sure did. Every time the dialogue brings up my character's name, I just wince. I don't know why, I just really like zigzag running. I call it air molecule strafing, where unlike wall strafing, it doesn't actually make you any faster, it just gives me a slight bit of dopamine. Salakadu, a Megadu, a boo, a bibbity bobbity frame drop. And there they are, our starters. Grookey, Sobble, and Score Bunny. See, normally in Nuzlocke's like these, YouTubers often have the audience choose their starter for them, but I'm gonna be recording this and uploading the Nuzlocke in one long video, so, uh... Hey Dino, uh, I'm doing a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Shield, can you choose my starter for me? Yeah, yeah, uh, I think you... Yeah, you should go with the monkey. Uh-oh. When all else fails, at least I named my character s Daddy. Your next line will be, how have you mastered tight matchups already? Yari yari, motherfucker. Look at all this fog. What is this, Persona 4? <laughs> now that we have Pokeballs, the Nuzlocke has officially started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the route and run about aimlessly. The first thing that I happen to bump into will be in my encounter. Ah! Why? It's the waifu, haha. -ha. Oh my god, why? Well, at least he didn't show me around the Pokemon Center. God damn it, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Now we got everything set up, it's time to do the most important part of a Nuzlocke. Spend all our money on clothes, let's go baby! Hey guys, look, it's me, Sand Undertale. This is an example of Dupes Claws. If you caught a Pokemon you've already caught before, it doesn't count. Ahem. First Pokemon I run into will be my catch. Hell yeah! Grendel's one of my favorite Pokemon, so this only feels appropriate. Alright, this is a baby easy game, and I know we're going into a rival battle, so I'm gonna assume they'll heal up our Pokemon. I know the wild area is one of the biggest draws of Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I am not f***ing with this place yet. Not a chance. I have recorded an attempt before this, and I encountered one Pokemon in the wild area, and it killed half my f***ing party. I mean, I know it might not be optimal in like an actual playthrough or even in a, in a Nuzlocke, but if Hop can play through this game with three Pokemon, then God damn it, I can do it too. Oh, look at the trees. Oh, the horror. And as for the ruling on dens, I don't plan on counting uh, den encounters. So it'll just be overworld because like you can technically tell what a den uh, has inside of it and therefore you can like sort of handpick the Pokemon you get. So that, I, I don't feel like that's in the spirit of the Nuzlocke. There we go. With this red hair, I can fulfill my destiny and become Sans. So I can go with what kind of looks like Sans' eye, or what kind of looks like Sans' other eye. I kind of like this a little bit better. <laughs> it's soulless. And just because skeletons apparently have blue tongues, who is she? Hey Patrick, you know what's funnier than 25? Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> I've never noticed it, what the hell? <laughs> there we are. The hero of our world. Number 69, Daddy. Looking like Sans Undertale. Will we win? God, I hope so. Will we lose? Realistically? Probably. So off screen, I did a little grinding. And in that grinding, we had something pretty funny happen. Somebody died. This is easy freezy. I got a snow run in the wild area and thought, oh sick, I could have a frost blast. But then you promptly got f***ing fisted by every single Pokemon in the Watchtower Ruins because I thought, silly me, that the first stage Pokemon weren't going to be triple my level. But my team, my team's looking mad sexy. First of all, Le Monk evolved into Long Grookey with two sticks and has a Miracle Seed. We have Dog Smiley Face, the Growlithe. We have Jesus, the Slowpoke we got from the Mystery Gift. If Jesus dies, I'll be f***ing 
fucking upset. I'm keeping this till the end if I can help it. We have Ellie the Butterfree, just for the culture. We have Dad the Machop, and we have Lil Chungus. All right, that's our team for the Nuzlocke. It's time to watch it crumble to shreds. Oh, you can fish here. You know what, I'll take a Gyarados. God damn it. Listen, listen. We're just gonna battle, I'm gonna knock you out, you're gonna let me go to the route and beat Milo. That's all I'm trying to do today. All right, Hop, your next line will be something something type matchups. Man, I can't wait to make this joke every time I fight you. All right, close my eyes. Uh... Dex! I swear to God, if I get the Eevee Light, it's done. This game's f***ing over. Oh, I got an escape rope. Whenever I want to escape a cave, I'll just hang myself. I'm gonna f***ing laugh every time I see Haha -ha Pee Pee's name. I'm a toddler, I swear to God. I really hope you heal me. <laughs> Get out, Blade, nerd! Alright, first encounter. Oh, for God's sakes. This may sound like a really bad mentality for when I'm doing a Nuzlocke, but like, I really hope that at least once during this playthrough, I'm talking shit about my opponent, and then just like, they immediately get a crit, and I eat my own f***ing words. The monkey wants to learn Screech? That doesn't hit people! I have the mentality of a child. Not only with my humor, but with playing Pokemon. Stat moves are f***ing lame. Alright, new landings, new encounters. He's Sonic the Hedgehog! Oh, for f***ing sake. Come on, man! Fine. Sonic it is. Look at this man. His vibes are f***ing rancid. Oh, you f***ing sense out a cum Pokemon? Disgusting. Remember when everyone thought that this was gonna be the third legendary? If I have another interruption by Hop before I can jump to the gym challenge, I will... You son of a You son of a I I saw him load in and immediately cringe. Let's go this way. Let's go You can just die alone, honestly. We're taking natural selection. I don't give a damn. 19 out of 20 is still a 95, so I think we're good. You cannot tell me the gym trainer Leia does not do some sort of weed. Look at this. She's in a grass gym and she is f***ing baked as hell. Number 69, entering the field. About to mess up Milo. Let's go, boy! Oh god, they're already dead. While off camera, I thought it'd be a good idea to jump into Route 5 and get the free Toxel they gave me. Uh, I named it Killer Queen, but on the way, I ran into this asshole, who nearly killed half my freaking team. I wanted an Applin more than anything in the world, and you know what? God just felt like not giving it to me. Fine, we're gonna use a bike, and we're gonna chase around gym challengers, because we're tier 3 Marnie subs. We subscribe to her on OnlyFans. Yo, I can't believe Pokemon Sword and Shield predicted 2020. Your next line is about tight matchups. Wow, I can't wait to make this joke every time. So mean to hop. God damn it. This is not how I should be treating my one of my favorite rivals. I mean, when you give me revives in a Nuzlocke, I'm gonna have to treat him pretty poorly. Poison Sting? What's that gonna do to me? What possibly... That. That is what it can do to me. Gyarados with a closed mouth. There is absolutely no way anybody is going to have ice moves, right? Alrighty then, I've got the grass starter. I am no longer f***ing with this gym. Everyone's going to perish. I would just like to stay on this screen for a little bit, just to reiterate the point that Twilight Wings Nessa hits different. A replica of Nessa's uniform? See, I've heard a lot of people claim that Sans is an S, but how about... Sans is Nessa. Watchtower ruined. Whoa! First encounter. Let's see what it'll be, folks. Oh, goddammit. Get it? It's cuz he high fives all around. You mean to tell me I could have had a potential glycep- Oh my god, he f***ing went. Hello, simps. What's good? Dog wants to learn retaliate? That's assuming one of my team members dies. Look at him go. Bye. Yatazo. Uchtozgado! What is the first encounter? There is definitely an easy joke here. And by golly, by gosh, I will absolutely be making it. I found the muscle feather. I wonder what that's like. Then monkey, come on. You're faster than a more peck. You're not faster than a more peck. Bruh. Oh, for <laughs> sake. Bark, bark. Oh, what the <laughs> More peck is a goddamn monster! First challenge of the Nuzlocke. Finally. It's not like I was already over-leveling my Pokemon anyway. God damn it, Marnie's adorable as hell. I can definitely see why people simp for her now. See, this gym is great because we get three free static encounters, baby! And one, two, three. And unsurprisingly, the Gyarados won against the Fire Gym Leader. Moto Stoke Riverbank, Bridgefield, Stony Wilderness, Giant's Cap, Hammerlock Hills. I'm not man enough for Giant Seat. Or Dust Bowl Dunes, or Accuse Eye, or Lake of Outrage, 
I'll go there eventually, off screen. Here's a nice, easy to understand model of a power plant we're supposed to care about. And here's some story we're supposed to care about. Route 6, baby, closing my eyes, show me what I get. And our first encounter is Team Yell. Awesome. All right, now what's my first encounter? You have got to be kidding me. Okay, now what's my first encounter? Nice. Revenge. Oh, Oh, eating it up. Let me reiterate. If I get an EVA light, this game is over. This pseudo Ludo seems like a job for Barrel. I haven't been giving him enough love, but then again, has anybody given him love? If you have, you're valid. So I have a now great idea. Um, who's... <laughs> Thank you, Maractus. Very cool. Better question. Why are you in Sword and Shield? <gasps> Monkey! Hell yeah! Get another max revive. How useful! Number 69, do your best. Is this gym really made up of only people who do the, the ooh-woo this thing? Send me on my way. Ow, 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 ow. Go! Pop, is that you? Alright, you dog and romp a reject. Ready to become one with the ghost you train. Yeet! Oh my god, he has a sad face on his backpack? Was I just supposed to learn this myself? Well, I used a normal type and your gym was completely invalidated. I became man enough for the giant seat. Listen, just because the mural looks like it was painted by a toddler doesn't mean you have to destroy it. So the problem with B is all of his Pokemon are psychic types. And we don't have a lot in the ways to defend ourselves against psychic moves. Never mind, they're all dead. Speed's rights have been revoked. Get <laughs> Thanks, Sonya. Really helpful. Glimwood Tangle. You know what that means? Encounter time! Oh, come on. Cheers. Show off the power of the fully evolved dog! With the Firestone that I totally did not miss first time going through the wild area. Absolutely not. Remember when there was a 24 hour long live stream of pokey cameras and sh in this place? Only to reveal one new Pokemon form? Yeah, I remembered it too. How'd you guys like wasting your time? Because I sure didn't. I don't do well with Ghosts and Haunted. Actually, no, that's a lie. I do very well with Ghosts and Haunted mazes. I was in an escape room once on one of my friend's birthday and at one point, well, she, when she was getting real creepy, I slammed my foot on the ground and everyone jumped. It was probably a defining moment of my life. Get absolutely outplayed! You know she had to do it to him. I'm on a stage, I'm a theater kid. This shit is easy to me. You know about fairy types' weaknesses. I mean, it's pretty easy when you give me the answers for free. What do I eat for breakfast every morning? Uh, you eat ass. Yeah! Alright, you Doug Dimidome reject. Get out of here! I tried my best. Question! What's my favorite color? I got tricked by this the last time! Purple! Eat it! Alrighty then, how old am I? You want realistic? Or you want me- Alright, this is genuinely a hard question. Ha! I like your answer. Yes! Ha <laughs> Get walked, idiot! Ah, oh, look at this big brain right here. Take me to Sir Chester. If Hop is there, I'm gonna get an aneurysm. Oh my god, he's in the background. Your next line will be about type matchups. Wow, I can't wait to make new route means new encounters. Let's see what I'm gonna get today. How the hell am I gonna evolve this thing? Ooh, whoa. It's me, Cthulhu, destroyer of worlds. This man's Corva Squire used swagger and then taunt. If you act like that as a cabbie, you must get sh ratings on Uber. New encounter time, baby. Spalings, 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 spalings. Fuck. Watch this. Zawardo. Zawardo. There we go. Didn't know it took that long to activate my stand ability. Big nugget. Nuggies, baby. I got my chicken nuggets. Food review time, baby. This is this is not a Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke anymore. It is a food review. Is Steam Drift Way a different place? Well, I've just been informed that my friends think that since Route A is divided into two places, I should get two encounters. Please give me a snob. Please give me a yes. Foggers. You. I want a snob. What more do you want from me here, man? Dude. I'm trying to catch you. You ain't doing shit to me, fool. You can't do that to me, man. F you. You're asleep. You can't resist the Pokeball. Okay, apparently you can. F 
finally. All that trouble for a Sonom, and it might not even be a valid encounter. Goddamn, my challenger is a wreck. And you are not a fun sight to see. Ah, oh, hell yeah, vibration minigame. This translates really well into YouTube. Dog, there's nothing to be confused about. Come on, dog. Dog! What the hell? Jesus Christ! He oh no. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. Go to barrel. Go to barrel. Go to barrel. Nope, nope, nope. We are on panic option. Five deaths to pitfalls later. And we're all good. Like, this this gym challenge probably killed at least one person, right? I know it's a video game, but IRL, this would cause hella lawsuits. Boy, howdy, she thick. <laughs> Slam her in it next week. Don't do this to me. Not funny, didn't laugh. What the f***ing Jesus? You were not supposed to do that much f***ing damage. I might have to sacrifice my boy. <laughs> No! I don't want to sacrifice Barrel. No, that'd be so sad! Oh, not like this. Come on! I'm Unless... Wait, no, no, no! Read, read, read! This is very risky. This is very risky because I could get by any of the ice moves. But I'm sending in Lay Monkey. Hypothetically, he can take a surf. Putting all my faith in you. Come on, Lay Monkey! I believe! I believe! Come on, my boy! Alright. Barrel's alive. I see wind. That shouldn't be too much, right? Lay Monkey's bulky! Holy sh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh -huh. How much is an icy wind gonna do to me? I really hope it's not much. It shouldn't. I am part flying, but I think water resists ice, so it's neutral. Okay, that's enough. That I can take that. And by doing so. I'll heal up my main man, Barrel. His lappers better not you sing again. I'm not going through that song and dance, sir. Oh, man, it's not raining. It shouldn't do much. Barrel. Yes! He lives! He lives! Yes! Oh, holy shit, idiot. I like that. That was a challenge. And that was for all the trauma you gave me through the pitfalls. I've started saying poggers and pog champ in my regular conversation unironically. And I can't stop. This is no longer a Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. This is a cry for help. Also, I got this from the Dusty Bowl. Looking cool! So wait, if this restaurant is called Bob's Your Uncle, I'm assuming that's Bob over there. If Bob's your uncle, Bob kind of looks like one of those uncles who molests their children. All right, Hop, your next line will be about tight matchups. Wow! What does Hop think he's gonna do against me by cursing? Okay. Listen here, bitch boy. So I thought there was a Team Yell event before I could actually get any encounters, and uh, gee, I wonder which Pokemon I'm gonna get for my first encounter. So I found a Cramorant as a random encounter, and I'm not sure which one counts. The Cramorant or the Pikachu it's holding hostage in its mouth. I guess it doesn't matter because Cramorant wanted to die, avoiding my encounter from this route. So this is Route 9. And this is Route 9, Sir Chester Bay. You know what, I'll just treat it like, uh, last time- Oh! Yeah! I love Mantine! Oh my god, it's a sliver of health. Mantine, my guy. You're dead to f***ing rights if you don't stay in this ball. Wow, I guess you wanted to die. Oh, Aqua Ring, I guess you didn't want to die. Never mind, you wanted to die. <laughs> Inner's out. Oh, f*** me! Holy sh! I'm not f***ing with the Fukumuku ever again! Don't make me get buffed by the hail, I'm at 1 HP! I think Killer Queen just saw their light flash before their eyes, what the crap? And another place classified as a different area. Will this Pokemon die to the hail? Finally, one Route 9 encounter goes right. I don't know, I'm gonna beat you in the ground, man. Honestly, Marty, you can beat me in the ground, and frankly, I thank you. Along with a lot of the, the female cast of this game. Brick break. Oh, that's double effective. But we take those! Well, it's faster than me, so the one solution to getting half my health whopped is to play like a little sissy baby. Nice. God, imagine if they had voice acting, then this lip flapping could f***ing mean something. It's contrary ability. Oh, of course it is contrary. Oh, what's his first move? Superpower? I don't want a contrary superpower Malamar f***ing sweeping me. Oh. I mean, I guess this game's too baby easy to- WHY?! If he gets off one psychic move, I might be but at the same time, I'm running a gambit because foul play, I don't know if it's ghost or dark, 
Either way, it's not gonna work, or it's gonna be not very effective. Dubs! Dubs! And Psychic Move might screw me over. Uh, Rock Slide. Like I said, we can eat this, right? Oh, we can absolutely eat that. We're old. Oh, and he's not dead. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not, this is a Nuzlocke. I'm not letting my boys die. Oh, f me, I'm so dumb. God damn it. Ah, come on. You're faster than a Malamar, right? No, no, how oh, come on. Live, live, live. Oh, our first death. The ha ha pee no. It's been a wild ride with you, brother. Have a fun time in heaven partying it up with the one guy that died off screen. Oh my god, come on, don't don't take dog. You're not taking dog with you. All right, you stupid Malamar. Coming for my pee pee is one thing, but you will not come for my dog. You may have taken ha ha pee pee, but you're not taking anyone else. Nah, Pierce. You only get one head to claim. Aw, oh, that really leads itself into some really awful jokes considering what I named my Gyarados. All right, I'm gonna mute my TV for a sec. We need to, we need to, we need to get some silence for this heavy moment. It appears that Haha Pee Pee has been slain. So we must have, in honor of, in honor of him, a 69 gun salute, Haha Pee Pee the Gyarados. He was, always, he was always hard on the others with his intimidate ability. And yes, I am making all of these j bad jokes on purpose. So I caught this bad boy in the Axew's eye because I had the ability to use water bike, water bike. Now, as for the last part of Wild Area, Lake of Outrage. I don't know if I could touch that place because when I said last recording session that half of the female cast in this game could beat me up and I'd thank them, I didn't mean the f***ing Pokemon and to fill the hole that Haha ha Pee Pee's death left in our team we have Second Coming, the Quagsire. I jokingly named my Wooper Second Coming because I think Wooper's a goddamn hilarious Pokemon. And I didn't actually think it would actually become the Second Coming of our boy, Haha ha Pee Pee, the Gyarados. I'm well aware that I could easily replace my Slowpoke with the Inkei I caught and have that be an infinitely better Malamar, but I like my bit of keeping a Galarian Slowpoke that can't even evolve yet. Let me see what your strategy is. Blind Faith and Crying. I might be a terrible Pokemon trainer. That's all. Giggle from Flygon. Mega Flygon! So Raihan's first move is to play Darude Sandstorm to distract us from the raving gym music in the background. Uh, Giggle it, die, and you die. Flygon dies, Giggle dies. Oh, that might not be good for- actually, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll survive that. We live? We live? Oh, I might not survive the Sandstorm. Cramp! <laughs> me. Alright. Oh, I think Barrel's- Oh, oh, that's a poor play. Can Barrel not die due to my own incompetence? God damn it, he didn't even use a particularly strong move. I was just dumb and Barrel paid the price for it. God fucking damn it. I'm in a Nuzlocke and I forgot my, my freaking goal is to play like a stupid sissy baby. All right, Raihan, this is for Barrel. You know, technically, if I wanted to exact revenge of the person who killed Beryl, it would be my own incompetence. Alright, what is G-Max depletion? Whatever it is, it sucks ass. Oh, my PP was reduced. Oh, man, you, low blow. The guy before you already took out my Gyarados. You don't have to say my PP was reduced further. When my outstretched arm barely reached Raihan's waist, holy he is twice my size! Christ, are you gonna put me through a cutscene? Let me pay my respects to Beryl. We interrupt this heart-wrenching moment of one of my team members dying due to my own stupidity to bring you waifus. Another one of our boys bites the dust. And it's our poor lad, Beryl. Beryl the Beware. Named after one of the greatest villagers in Animal Crossing. Our journey first began when you nearly killed half of my f***ing party. And in the end, you gave the ultimate sacrifice. Rest in peace with Ha Ha Pee Pee. And that other guy, the, the snow run. Who the f*** do I bring in now? You thought it was my Lake of Outrage encounter, but it was I, Rotten! Don't worry, 
He didn't die off screen. As much as I love my bit of keeping a slowpoke that's not even able to evolve through to the end, in the interest of having an actually functioning team of six in this Nuzlocke, I've decided to box Jesus for your sins. In his place, I have Cthulhu the Malamar and SoundCloud the Noivern. All right, so if I don't move, maybe he won't notice. What are these foundlings gonna do to my Noivern? Do they have Ice Punch? These don't even got him. Hell yeah, baby! Creepers! Aw, oh, man! <laughs> what the Christ are these knit caps? I don't want my character to look like a dreidel, I want them to look like Sans. If any of my team dies at this point in the game, I'm actually gonna sh** my pants. When I saw that Arcanine had the ability to learn Play Rough, I nearly squealed. Because Jesus Christ, we were in need of very coverage. It's in point, the Scrafties that lopped off half of Barrel's health in the previous time. You meet! That's right. Torment. Okay, Marnie, you may have this on me. Bullets. What? Since when? You better not get all five. You better not get all five. Stop right there. Stop. Stop. How? There's no f***ing way. Oh. Oh. You did not. All right, what's good, Satan? your hairy ass stand. You know, I debated using some of my experience candies on the boys and just over level the hell out of them. But y'all want to see me fight for my life, right? You, you guys don't want to see me fail, right? I Me, mean, the only other option is seeing Hop fail. No one wants to do that. All right, you poor bastard. You ready to get your dreams crushed? All right, Hop, your next line. All right, Gilly Queen, come on. Your job is to talk to the Potters. Hey, that's how we, uh, yep, high horsepower. That's definitely effective, but I have my scar. Audrey, you're just gonna use high horsepower again because you learned from Lee's matches, dumbass. You didn't learn from my matches, where I play like a pussy. <laughs> you. See, I was about to send in Second Coming on the Electric type, but y'all know what happened last time I sent Second Coming in on ele an Electric type. He nearly lost his life. We ain't having anybody trying to die out here. We're taking this team to the end. All right, Hop. You may be literally everybody's favorite rival, but what is your Inteleon have on my... Monkey! Realistically, probably has an ice beam. I wouldn't put it past this game. I mean, they gave more Pekka Bullet Seed for some reason. I f***ing called it! Le Monkey, come on! You're a bulky boy! You eat that And with that, we dismantled this poor boy's dreams. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. At this point in the game, I'm freaking horrified. I'm about to go into a marathon of tough battles. And if any of my Pokemon die, I don't think I have the experience candies to grind up another team member. I am a full seven levels ahead of this f***er. I got way too in my head about this. Feel the flow. Yeah, you feeling it, daddy? Ha ha ha. Oh boy, I'm starting to regret my naming choice. Which is weird, because I regretted it immediately. I'm betting on a hunch that the first thing she sends out is Milotic. Or Frostlight. No. I think it's Frost Last. Jesus Christ, I'm getting inside my own head. I need to stop this. I f***ing knew it! I'm a genius! They're getting pretty close to my level, and I don't like that. Because I, I need to stay at least four levels above them to remain confident in this Nuzlocke run. <laughs> Alright, what's your last Pokemon? The ultimate Waifumon? Garbodor. I made that joke in my original playthrough. <laughs> they gave Garbodor a Gigantamax form. I mean, hey, they're finally pandering to the best gen. I ain't mad about it. I mean, yeah, Garbodor's not exactly everybody's favorite fifth gen Pokemon, but they're on the right track. And then Bead says, hang on, gamers. This little <laughs> right here made me put on cotton candy looking ass outfits. I already looked enough like a cotton candy motherfucker with my stupid hair. What did that cop expression think you're gonna win, he says? Yeah, <laughs> I got a steel move. All you use are fairy types. I've literally won the game of rock, paper, scissors that Pokemon is. Hard read. You don't really know I have a Malamar in the back. So you're gonna max mindstorm me and I'm gonna be immune because of type magic, right? Oh, son of a bitch, he used this fairy. Is that the fairy move? Is this the fair? <laughs> me, really? Really? Come on, dude! Not poggers! I'm down a member. It's because I called you a cotton candy bastard, isn't it? 
moment of silence for another one of our fallen brethren, Cthulhu the Malamar. I frankly never expected to use a Malamar, mostly because I never wanted to show me flipping the Switch screen upside down on camera. But you know what? For what you did, you put in work. And I respect you forever, brother. Rest in peace with Barrel, haha pee pee, and that other guy. Slur, you're really good if I eat Barrel. Oh, what a pain. God, those looks are fucking hard. I'm not doing this ever again. I'm gonna play through this game again, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch all the goddamn mods I can. I'm gonna use an A team, a B team, and even a fucking C team if I'm feeling spicy. God damn, this is hard. My options are hella limited. Solar beam. Oh. So I don't know how I didn't expect this. You have an assault vest second coming. Come on. Oh, I'm not needing that. Kings rock, kings rock, kings, kings rock. My boy, that's my boy, dog. Good boy. Killing it, thing. Killing motherfuckers. Look at this. Look at me go. My kings rock is. Okay. Listen here, e boy. So while I could end this Nuzlocke off right here, Challenger Rose says, No, 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 it's time to cause Doomsday for no f***ing reason. Now that we finally have access to Pokeballs, it's time to get our encounter in the motherfucking slumbering wheel. Yay. Pop, if you make me have another f***ing rival battle to test if I'm good enough for the legendaries, I will cry. And here's an energy plant we're supposed to care about. Here's the chairman that we all knew was going to be evil from the start that we're supposed to care about. Here's some Final Fantasy music we're supposed to care about. Here's an enemy from Super Paper Mario we're supposed to care about. Here's a god of death we're supposed to care about. Oh my god, no f***ing way! Toxic, toxic, oh wait, he's poison. Oh, get absolutely on plane! I'm the genius! Anyways, uh, here's an apocalypse we're supposed to care about. And here are some doggos we're supposed to care about. I don't want to use a legendary Pokemon in a Nuzlocke, because that kind of feels like cheating. But at the same time, if it's ever necessary, this name feels very appropriate. So I took one look at Leon's team on Bulbapedia and said, You know what? I don't think we're ready. So off screen, I did a little bit of grinding on the gang, and everyone is up to about mid 60s. But while I was grinding, a miracle occurred. I finally got an encounter from the Lake of Outrage. Two Ouija star points to whoever understands the reference behind Golurk's name. All right, no turning back. Let's rock, let's roll. And by God, let's not have any Pokemon die. I don't have enough strength to do more max raids where the CPUs rig it against me. I love Age Slash. God damn, he's such a cool Pokemon, but Jesus Christ, he is way too busted. Get out of here! You ain't doing half Noivern's health. SoundCloud, stay living. I caught zero fairy types this round, and frankly, that's a pain because Leon has. Two really strong dragon types that are really scary. Of course he has Earthquake. Dog, eat it! Yes! Dog, let's go! That's my boy! Baby Strats, rise up. It's time. I'm gonna switch to SoundCloud, predict an Earthquake. Big brain! This is the problem with me doing these Nuzlocke's because I get way too in my head. And if my Pokemon can't one-shot, then I consider them good as dead. It's also considered them good as dead if they can't hit their attacks. Dog, come on the monk. You were here since the beginning. Now I know for a fact you're faster than a Dragon Ball. Right, Le Monkey? Flamethrower! When did this happen? Le Monk, Le Monk! Yes! My boy! We stay living! All of my fing Pokemon are at two health. I can't handle this right now. Fireball Ball? That's not gonna do a thing. Right, Zenthon? Okay, apparently it's gonna do a lot. Pyro Ball has 5 PP. It's time to stall until it misses. This should be your last one. Well, guess that f***ing works. Earthquake! Five full restores later and the Cinderace goes down. Time to fight the Pokemon that Game Freak won't let die. Charizard. Far above my level. The Killer Queen's gonna toxic it! I know you have G-Max Earthquake, Charizard. 
so please don't use it. It would be really nice if you didn't. Well, he's not gonna use it. Thanks, Leon. You heard me through the screen. But, uh, can Killer Queen eat this? Yes! Killer Queen! Let's go! We stay living! Toxic! Right now! Get him! Your Charizard is now on a timer! You know what? I'm just gonna stall out his Gigantamax turns! I am not sending in Second Coming! No goddamn way! I know for a fact he has Solar Beam! Max Overgrowth! See, I told you, he has solar beam. Xenthon, can you take it? Xenthon! Oh, no he can't. No he can't. My boy Xenthon didn't even last half a recording session. I don't think I'm gonna have the ability to go to the PC until after the credits, so let me just give a big moment of silence for my boy Xenthon. You, you definitely did moves, and you were a Pokemon. You helped me get off a joke, and you... You lasted half a recording session. Thanks. He's only charging up this round. You fool. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Second coming. Make your boy proud. For Haha -ha Pee Pee, the Gyarados. For Barrel, the Beware. For Cthulhu, the Malamar. For Xenthon, the Golurk. And for the guy that you already forgot about, because he's in the boxes. Second coming, Max Brock Ball. Please one shot. Thank you. Means a lot, buddy. And our Nuzlocke challenge has come to an end. Cause bitch, we f***ing won. We've been through heal spam. We've been through gym battles. We've been through Eternatus. And we've been through the death of our good old Pokemon. Thank you guys for watching this show of a Nuzlocke. And now I'm never doing a full playthrough in a one recording ever again.